Okay, everybody, welcome back to another edition of WCW 2002 as we head towards Super Brawl and into the month of February. Uh, looking back at last night's pay per view, let's look over a few things. So, you know, got 9,700 people there, uh, total pay per view buys of about 140,000, plus a decent TV audience because we're on TV in Japan and Australia. But to go over things, we had Tajiri beating Kazayashi to retain the WCW Cruise Race title. Uh, Road Warriors running over the Silver City Rollers of Cash and Reno. A uh, pointless four eight man tag to keep people on the show of Hoovy, Conan, and Air Raid, defeating Havo, Chavadro, Sandy Moore, and Elix Cooper and Kid Romeo. Uh, the Steiners protesting outside because they were suspended. Jindrak and Stagiak getting a pelt by beating Fit Finley and Jason Jett. Chuck Palumbo beating Buff Bagwell in my never ending quest to get Buff Bagwell out of the company. A Sean O'Hare training video. Jeff Jarrett and Shane Douglas uh, defeating Alex Wright and Dustin Rhodes, with Alex and Dustin then arguing with Dusty playing Peacemaker. Uh, Shane Helms defeating Ray Jr., and then Helms Ray Jr. defeating, you know, hitting with another super kick, then celebrating. Uh, Team Canada defeating Yang and Noble to retain the world tag titles. Billy Kimmini defeating Ric Flair to reta retain the U.S. heavyweight title. And Vampiro defeating DDP, followed by Vampiro hitting DDP with a nail and coffin on a chair. And then Booker T defeating Canyon to retain the, the title. So now it's, we're on to Nitro, and let's see how the road to Super Bowl shapes up. So to start out, we've got a pre-show match where Hoovy, Lash, and Jason Dett defeat Johnny Swinger, Shannon Moore, and the Funkster in 15 minutes when Jason Jett defeats Shannon Moore by pinfall. You know, not a terrible match, but it's a pre-show match to get some people on the show. The next up, we've got Conan defeating Buff Bagwell in 11 minutes by submission with a zip block. And yeah, looking at Buff Bagwell's performance, somebody is not happy about being beneath the earth, but oddly, I can't seem to care. Anyway, off to the, on to the actual main show. So the actual main show uh, starts off with the horsemen coming out. So, you know, Flair, Jarrett, Douglas, and Conan, along with Joni. They talk about how, you know, they aren't done with Kidman. They still run things in this company. They talk to Bischoff, and they have a six-man match tonight involving the Filthy Animals. So, you know, the Filthy Animals better find a partner, then all of a sudden, you know, the ripoff of it against, you know, Smells Like Teen Spirit starts up, and Diamond Dallas Page comes out. He says, you know, Vampiro got lucky last night, managed to nail him with a chair and get the pin, but he's going to take out, you know, creeps and lazy bums all his time in WCW as People's Champion, and he's going to team up with the Filthy Animals tonight to take out the Horsemen tonight. Um, and yeah, Canyon's getting even better at his gimmick. Jesus. Joni Waller's help Canyon. Uh, Angle got the crowd hotter. Diamonds came out looking exit. Canyon was fantastic. Hurrah. An 89A. Um, and a sh match to start off the show as far as wrestling. Jamie Noble defeating Javi Crow Jr. in 554 with a diving leg drop. So yeah, just a short, quick match to have some cruiserweight action. 70C plus, not bad at all. And then backstage, uh, Bischoff is in his office. Vampiro comes in. He wants his title shot after defeating DDP. You know, Bischoff says, you know, sure, he had to use, you know, some trickery to beat DDP last week, or last night at uh, Ignition, but that's sort of, you know, the gumption that he wants to see from the wrestlers in WCW. So at Super Bowl, it's going to be Booker versus Vampiro with the WCW world title on the line. 86B+. Plus, and Vampiro invented a new catchphrase that will likely boost his ability on the microphone. And actually, this is good because I've planned for later on. So let's say he actually invents his catchphrase during the next angle. And the angle got the crowd hotter. And yeah, 86B+. Plus. Um, then we got backstage. Uh, you know, Ray Jr.'s a destroyed legend. You know, now he has to hang on to a Tales of DDP who got lucky to defeat him in the first place. You know, his job is to ruin legends, to kill them, to send them out of this company so a new, you know, rebirth can be created, you know, under the reign of the superstar, Shane Helms. Quick promo, he didn't have anything to do on the show as far as a match, but he, I, I wanted to keep, keep him on here, get him on here after beating Ray Jr. last night. So then we got another, uh, some Cruiserweight action. Yang defeating Evan Courageous in 542 by pinfall with the Minchin Oker driver too. Um, yeah, solid match, 54 C minus. This just got you know, some more people on the show wrestling. Then we got an angle backstage with Dustin and Alex. You know, there's still some tension between them, but after a moment, they do some rock, paper, scissors to um, 
no, yeah, they basically, you know, say they're going to, you know, still team up together and they, you know, go and go after the horsemen no matter what. And then we go backstage where Bischoff's with Team Canada, uh, you know, they're in there. Storm and Awesome are like, you know, we've cleaned out the division. There's nobody more to face. It's over. It's done. Just, you know, give us a tag team fighters hold forever. And Bischoff's like, you know, you've been impressive. That's true. That's why next next week on Nitro, there's going to be a six-way match between members of tag teams for the number one contendership. And, you know, whichever person wins, we'll get the tag title shot at Super Bowl. Bischoff and Lance from an awesome like, okay, we don't care. We'll destroy who anybody, whoever wins. And Bischoff's like, okay, good luck. And he looked good because he's more me, Eric Bischoff. And that still works in 2002. And that was a 67C+. Plus. By the way, the Holmes promo got a 71C-. minus Or 71B-. minus. And I'll go over what the Rhodes right promo got because I did not because I forgot to say that. So sorry for anybody not watching this video directly and just listening to it. Anyway, we got action. Um, again, Jindrak and Stasiak defeating the Mamelukes in 808 when Mark Jindrak defeating Johnny the Bull by pinfall with the Mark of Perfection. Uh, perfectly solid match, 53C-808. You know, nothing too exciting. And then after the match, Jindrak and Stasiak, you know, they, they cut a pr promo with Don Marie in the background, you know, basically like, you know, rubbing them down, touching them, you know, you know, basically marveling over their muscles. And they talk about how, you know, sure, Storm and Awesome think they have the titles, but Jindrak and Stasiak are the future of wrestling. And they're going to, you know, one of them's going to win the sixth way next week. And then at Super Raw, the fans may not be happy about it, but they're going to be the ones who take the tag belts off Storm and Awesome. 77 beep for that, because, you know, they're not too bad. Then we got, oh, yes, this is a great promo. Okay. So basically, you know, Booker T comes out with, with a title belt. He thanks the fans. He says, you know, Canyon tried his best. He had his horsemen lackeys try to beat him down. He had that freak Jordan Lawler trying to take him out. But, you know, he's still standing as a WCW world champion because of the, you know, support of the fans. And because, you know, he's the best wrestler in the ring today. Then Van Beer comes out. You know, he talks about how, you know, Booker T's been dealing with flamboyant stars insane muscle men with freaks behind them but he's never dealt with true darkness you know he's destroyed the legend of sting he sent them packing he gave ddp a concussion last night and at super all just going to continue when he takes the wcw world title for himself and this is simply the beginning of a descent and that you've been marked for the deadpool 100 a star Great promo, and we've got a world title match. Hurrah. Next up after that, so just, you know, just for anybody, that was basically like our hour one and hour two segment, you know, so basically it's about half over. Anyway, next up, Sin City Rollers, Cash and Reno, defeat Norman Smiley and Ernest Miller in 607 when Reno gets the pin on Miller after the roll of the dice. Again, tag title match to build up the six way next week. So 59C. You know, not a terrible match. Reno and Cash have excellent chemistry. Disco did good work at wearing side, so you know, nothing too bad. And then did Sin City Silver City Rollers with Disco promo. You know, basically Reno looks tough. Cash and Disco cut some quick promos, you know, saying, you know, they're gonna be the team that takes the tag title shot next week. And 60 C. Then we got backstage with uh, DDP and the Filthy Animals talking to each other. You know, Billy Kidman has the US title. Corey Wilson's, you know, rubbing shoulders, giving him affirmations about how, like, you know, he's still the U.S. title match. He defeated the greatest wrestler in history last, you know, last night, so he's got this. Gray Jr., you know, says, you know, Shane Helms may run and pin, but, you know, he's back on the horse. And he talks about, like, you know, he's the people's champion. He's the voice of the WCW fan base, and he's going to give a bang to the horsemen tonight. Then Chuck Palumbo defeats uh, Hugh Morris in 7:30 by pinfall. Um, yeah, quick match to put Palumbo over. 57 C minus, nothing special. Solid match. And then we've got a fun angle. So basically, you know, Palumbo's in the ring celebrating with Stacy. Then out of nowhere, 
you know, Scott and Rick Steiner with Menagerie comes out. You know, Steiner, they, they bear over Palumbo, beat Steiner the hell down. They pull Stacy over. She tries to run away. Scott Steiner, you know, spanks her because it's 2002 and that stuff will get over. Um, and he just cuts a ranting, raving promo about how, you know, some punk ass bitch like Chuck Colombo with his, you know, long legged slut valet is not going to replace him. Nobody's going to replace him. He's the big bad booty daddy. He's, you know, all freaks in here. Him. And, you know, if anybody wants a piece of him, he's back. Um, yeah. Scott Steiner came out this looking excellent because it's Scott Steiner. 79B. Pretty good start to this angle. And then in our main event, the Four Horsemen of Ric Flair, Canyon, and Jeff Jarrett defeat DDP and Kidman and Ray Jr. When Jeff Jarrett uh, defeats Kidman by pinfall illegally, it says using the ropes for leverage, but let's say, let's change that to after a guitar shot. Because that makes more shot sense. So, yeah. You know, Lawler, Joni Jim Lawler distracts the referee, or maybe the ref takes, you know, ref bump. Jeff Jarrett is able to hit the guitar shot in Kidman, get the pin. Um, again, stalled main event, 82B, 1205. Uh, Jarrett got a performance of 74. Kenny got one of 89. Jesus. Flair got one of 66. Sierra, 74. Kidman, 67. DDP, 76. Pretty good. And then we've got a uh, good angle to end things. We've got a horseman beat down, and then coming out of, you know, nowhere, Sean O'Hare, who hasn't been doing much. Recently had to end his tag team with Chuck Palumbo because they lost a loser. This must break up match at Stargate. Comes out, and, you know, during the middle of a horseman beat down, he just comes up and starts, like, you know, punching, lariat, tossing people around, you know, has a face down with Canyon and things, and then he just drills him with, um, what was it called, the Widowmaker. And then, you know, that's sort of the end of the show. 84B+. Plus, and it's almost like we have a new angle, new ma feud out of that or something. So, end things. Yeah, so 84B+. Plus, and in case anybody was wondering, yeah, that does, doesn't now look backstage from where we got to 68. And like I said, the shame helps from where we got to 71. Oh, buddy, 84B+. Plus, um, two people I used on the pre-show in a match you were used too much. Come on, come on, come on, game. You know that doesn't matter. Um, so let's just see if anything interesting happened um, with any other action, and then we'll be done for for today. But yeah, we've got um, you know our first couple matches for Super Bowl setup. We've got a world title match. We've got a probable U.S. title match with Jared versus Kidman. We've got a fun setup for a possible tag match, and we got some decisions. So first decisions. Oh, Buff, you want to go bye-bye? Weird. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. And you did not see any of those contract negotiations. No, you did not. Um, so let's look at Raw did real quick. So yeah, they got an 89A because they can friggin' spam things. Yeah. Oh, look, Triple H and The Rock had a main event. Wow, that got a 99. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, Fisra, Tommy Dreamer. Wow, great action. Rock on the Edge had a brawl. Jericho, Hal, and Angle had an angle. Yeah, okay. And let's just check out New Japan show. So, Nagata defeating? Okay, not bad. Fujiwara defeats an MMA guy. Samurai and Liger defeated the Junior Stars. Uh, who were they? They were... Oh, Kanemoto and Tanaka. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, Super J, also known as NW Sting, got a win. Uh... WF to film still trailer, uh, trainer, Kenushin defeats Akira. Tayu Kea to, uh, retained the junior heavyweight title over Kendo Suzuki and um, Shibata. Sure. Um, let's see here. Riki Chusu, Chosu retained the title over Usumu Nishimura. And in a big main event, Muto, Fujinami, and Kushinaka defeat Sasaki, Chono, and Hase. Yep. Pretty solid show. Um, anyway, so that's the show for today. And then we're on the Nitro Nectric. So like, comment, surprise, 
uh, subscribe, rather. Wow, like, comment, subscribe. There we go. That's how words work. And, you know, let me know what's, what's good, what's bad, what's terrible, what you want to see. Adios.